video, which is a custom mechanical keyboard building. So yeah, you heard me right. We're gonna build a keyboard. Now you might be thinking like a keyboard, like the ones you type on, yeah. So if you don't know what's going on, basically mechanical keyboards are like these nice things that have nice typey sounds and they're really satisfying to type on and listen to. So I decided to build my own because I really wanted one that was like customized to my needs. Oh, I should also note that throughout the video, this is like my first time doing it. So some stuff are a bit suspicious, but everything else turns out for the better. So stay tuned and shall we get into the video? First, we're gonna start off with all the supplies and materials. Everything I used is linked below just in case you're curious. So we have this wooden case. Next is this PCB, which is basically like the brain of the keyboard. And we have some foam basically to dampen the sound a bit, but this controls the entire keyboard. Next is this aluminum plate. You basically put this over your switches to stabilize it. Next, we got these Animal Crossing keycaps, which are super cute. I got these from AliExpress for such a deal. Here we got my cream switches and these are the things that go up and down in a keyboard. I got 60 of these bad boys, super smooth, love these. These are stabilizers which help stabilize the big keys. Big keys and keyboards like have bad balance basically. This is keyboard lube, not that type of lube. This type of lube is for keyboards and you just make it smooth plus some tools like a brush, tweezer. We're gonna start off with lubing the keycaps. I got my brush and some lube. So here is the cream switch and I have this switch opener and all you gotta do is pop it in with the right direction. You just like orient it and then press down. And basically just think of it as like the contents just spill out when you do it. So we got this stem and this spring you might not know what these mean but like you don't really need to for this video i'm just gonna make this super simplified if you've never built a keyboard before or watched any of these videos so let's begin the nitty gritty details you just dip the paintbrush inside the lube and paint the insides i found this paintbrush from like when i was 10 it's kind of old but you know it does the job well I honestly don't know a lot what I'm doing. It's mostly just a lot of experimentation because I've never built one of these before. I'm like a partial keyboard enthusiast. Anyway, so you just lube the insides and in this spring too. I didn't lube the middle because you have to grab it somehow or you could use your tweezers, but I didn't do that. This is the stem and you just kind of coat the entire thing except the top. That's where you'll put the keycap, which I'll explain a bit later. So once you lubed all of that together, I took my tweezers and I carefully placed it on the housing and you just kind of shove it in and put the top back on and it'll snap all right together nice and easy. Anyway, yeah, I repeated this process 60 times with 60 switches and my hands really hurt afterwards. Next, we're gonna lube the stabilizers, which as I mentioned, were the things that supported the big keys. So as you can see, they go up and down with this little railing. I don't even know what it's called. But once you take it out, you just like kind of snap it in a certain way. You'll want to lube the insides, just like go around in a circle and get all the parts done basically. Afterwards, you'll want to take like this metal railing thing and put a lot of lube on it, spread it very nicely. Once you finish everything, snap it back into place and repeat this process for however many stabilizers you have. I'm pretty sure I had around five, so did this five times. Pretty quick and easy, not as long as the switches. So this is the PCB. And since these are like cherry mount snap-ins, all you gotta do is like push them in and they'll go in. Sometimes they have screws, but I'm not like really handy with tools, so I can't do that very well. Also, if you have no idea what's going on and you just hear me saying like cherry and like cream and wondering why are all these keyboards related to food, I have no idea. I can't explain to you why half these things are named after foods. Okay, so now we're more onto the building process. I laid everything out to make it simple and so I don't get confused and disorganized. We're next gonna put this beautiful aluminum plate on the PCB and in order to do that, you need to put these switches inside. So I just shoved the ends into it. Just. I just did a few of them because when you shove them into the PCB, you'll need something to like hold it together so it doesn't fall apart. You'll see in like a few seconds. Once I've got all these done, we just shove them in with the 
prongs at the end, they're metal, they have to match up and line up so the metal like connects and science happens and you get some fancy switchy thing. Anyway. <laughs> Now we just shove all of these switches in, make sure to get them in the right way and the metal prongs aren't bent because then you won't get them in. I had a lot of issues with these and you can see like my thumb bends in a weird way. It kind of hurts now and I had like early onset carpal tunnel for a few days. So if you're gonna do this maybe like stretch a bit and it's kind of hard to push it in, it's a bit stiff but eventually I got them all in. Are almost finished make sure everything is lined up so it's all even across very parallel so I took my PCB foam and this dampens the sound as I mentioned earlier it kind of just makes it a bit more nice when you press it down and you get a nice keyboard sound so I took my case I took out all the screws that it came with I took my little keyboard sandwich you could say and I just put it in make sure to line up the USB-C port at the end so you can shove it into your computer and then I took some tweezers and placed inside the screw the screw is so tiny my fat fingers didn't fit so anyway we got the nice keycaps that I got for such a score and these are so high quality I cannot tell you how much I love these keycaps like I got such a good deal on AliExpress. I think I paid like $35, which is so good. Some expensive keycap sets can go for like $100. And I wasn't gonna spend that much because this keyboard was already so expensive. Ta-da! We got our beautiful keyboard. Here are just some like nice b-roll shots of it. I'm just so proud of it. It's got like this jungle wood theme with this nice bamboo case. Okay, so once we finish building the keyboard, I'm just gonna show you a bunch of different keyboard ASMR, whatever they're called.
then I decided to go artisan. I already spent so much money on this. I decided to go make my own keycaps. So I have these random keycaps from another keyboard that I don't like and I just put together some clay and made this awesome looking bell bag. So I had to go bake it. Now this is where my downfall came. It looks so cute and I think my clay making skills for this were beyond fantastic. However, it melted in the oven mainly because I wasn't using the right type of keycap. So I just took it off the top. I ripped it off and now I just glued it to another one and we got this cute little artisan keycap. So that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My beautiful keyboard. It's like, it's like my baby. Um, it's really nice and it has this nice little thing on the side. Yeah. So, and it makes nice sounds and it has just like a nice body. Would recommend building your own keyboard if you would like. It's a highly fun activity. And so that concludes the video. See you later guys. Bye-bye.